Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in to the Card and Pop YouTube channel. My name is Cameron and today we're going to be opening some pretty cool Funko sodas. So as you can see behind me, I've got pretty much uh, almost exclusively into opening Funko sodas as opposed to pops. I just, I, I don't know what to tell you, I just really love the mystery behind opening these. And we have some slightly older sodas as well as some uh, brand new ones that I got from Spastic Collectibles. So. We're actually gonna just go straight down the line, jumping into, as you can see, we have some Nightmare Before Christmas, Samurai Jack, and Geralt from The Witcher. Uh, so we're actually going to go right ahead into Barrel from Nightmare Before Christmas. He's right there. That is what his common will look like. Obviously, we'll see the figure inside, but his chase is glow in the dark, and he is also not wearing his mask, his Halloween mask. Now, I got these I believe I got these off Spastic uh, Collectibles as well. And we're not gonna look at the pogs inside, we're just gonna crack right open into the baggies and see if there is a chase in here. So, like I said, probably won't be able to tell the glow in the dark right away, but we will be able to tell if he's wearing his mask or not. And this, I believe, is the comment. So, amazing figure. I love these Nightmare Before Christmas molds so i am whoop pretty positive yep there you go here is the pog i love that it is one of 8400 pieces perfect so we are going to get right along with just doing the very next figure so <clears throat> the uh pumpkin king jack ones i actually got off I want to say Makari, because it was a figure that I had wanted, but they were a little expensive. I think they were maybe 20-ish dollars a can. And once again, we have the common barrel, but that is okay. My brother collects these too, so he will most likely be getting one of these. And I'm not going to uh, shop the figure since I already did. But yeah, these... Um, don't mind my dog barking in the background. But like I said, these, I think we're off... Macari, um, 20 ish dollars each. Um, and this is a convention exclusive, actually. Um, totally forgot about that. So that might obviously be the reason why they are a little expensive. But not looking at the pog and his chase, he is on fire. And I believe the fire glows. And this is not the chase, but oh my goodness, this is probably hands down already one of my favorite Funko sodas. This guy is incredible and he's beefy he's got a jumbo noggin right there i don't know how well y'all can see that but i also have the or had kind of the funko pop um of him however uh it was before i actually got really into collecting and so he's out of box somewhere in storage unfortunately and he is one out of twelve thousand five hundred. they actually made quite a bit of him um But yeah, guys, um, let me know which one of these is your favorite down in the comments, you know? I'm always uh, excited to see what people think of the new sodas coming out, the new exclusives, how you know often they're able to pick them up and all that good stuff. So again, not looking at the pog. Really would love this chase. Uh, Makari's not the best place, in my opinion. I really haven't had a lot of luck picking up chases from uh, Macari because you know resellers and so on and so forth but um, as expected this is the common again won't really bother showing it off too much but there it is sometimes you know people get these uh, cans and they'll see a common pog without opening the bag and sometimes Funko is actually kind of or not Funko but the distribution center has actually messed up and either put a chase pog in there or a chase figure in the bag so always remember to open your baggies now this is probably hands down one of my favorite sodas so far to date the chase is him uh in a, in a japanese style mask and it is so awesome you guys it is seriously such a cool soda and uh i bought two of these from again spastic so there is a legit chance of a chase in these and we're gonna not look at the chase and he is masked it might be pretty easy to tell um, but i'm trying not to you know feel around the bag i'm just trying to find a spot to open it up at 
Um, so let's take a look. And this is just the common. That is totally fine because we need it. But it is such a rad figure. I mean, all the detail on his armor just looks amazing. I don't know how well y'all can pick that up, but all of the little studded bits on his leather and armor, it really does look amazing. So huge fan of this figure, huge fan of the show. Me and my brother grew up um, watching Samurai Jack on Cartoon Network. Uh, we remember watching the very first episode and just immediately being hooked. So, all right guys, we actually just have one more can. Uh, little, my phone actually got full of data recording these videos, so who would have thought? But last we left off, we did pull the Geralt Chase. So, stoked to actually get a chase out of this set of two, four, six, eight sodas? Two, four, six, yeah, eight sodas. So, um, now that we have the uh, chase of Geralt, we just honestly want the uh, common here. Obviously, if we get two chases, we're not gonna complain. But we're just gonna open this right up. And I did peek because, of course, we already got the chase. So we got the common, which is perfect. Perfect pull there on Geralt. And you can see the main difference is, obviously, he is not metallic. And his, he's not as pale and pasty and he doesn't have his eye glow. So just as a close-up comparison, hopefully you can kind of see the difference there. Maybe we'll get a close up of it, but yeah. Uh, so far for these eight, one out of eight, not the best of odds, but again, some of these were on uh, Macari, some of them were uh, Spasta collectibles, so sometimes you just don't get, you know, the one in six odds. But yeah, guys, uh, this is it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, my name's Cameron. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all later soon.